Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine and yes, I'm in my bathroom right now and um, you've seen me here in I think it was my last video that I posted, I was doing my what's in my bathroom tour and um, a lot of you guys have been asking for the daily makeup routine of mine and um, I just decided to film one and my tripod right now is actually pretty pathetic. I'm going to show you because I want to show you. Okay, so this is my tripod right now. Look at this. It's a empty cup dispenser, a lotion, a um, Clinique cube that I put my cotton balls in, a clip container, a random plastic bowl, and a box of tissues. So that's pretty pathetic, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, um, so I'm just going to get right into my daily makeup routine. And, um, I don't really wear that too, that much makeup just because I'm, I love my face. I don't know why. Just like, because I don't have any acne or anything. I'll let you get up close. Um, I just have a little bit of redness around my cheeks and nose and like right here. But that doesn't make a really big difference. Like right now in the lighting, I actually kind of look a little weird. But, um, actually I'm a lot more color into my skin. I just don't look like it right now. Wait a second. This might help. A, okay, that might help a little bit. Or is that too much light? I think it's too much light. I should have done that earlier. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do, since this is what I, um, my morning makeup routine, um, in the morning I always wash my face with this cleanser and I'm not going to say anything just the, same just the same time so everything will be linked in the down bar but I usually use this cleanser and then I use a toner on my face and of course you always have to moisturize before um, putting makeup on and then um, I just use for chapstick I just use my summer fruit EOS egg and yeah so I have my usually I just do my makeup my vanity but I have this bag of makeup that I use every day and if you saw my vanity tour you know what I mean okay so um the first thing that I usually do is I put on concealer and I don't really think I need that much concealer just because the foundation usually covers all my redness and let me find my concealer. I use two different concealers before I put on foundation. Just because I think that that is what works best for me. Alright, here we go. So first I start out with my NYX Complete Coverage NYX Liquid Concealer in medium. And I just put this under my eyes. I don't have any dark circles or um, lines or anything, but I really just do like putting it under there just to like make it a little bit brighter. And then I'm using my small stipple brush just to rub it in. Just like that. And then I take a stick concealer like so. And I just put it like around my nose. And then I just have a scar up here that I like to conceal. And then I just rub that in with my fingers. Okay, and then that's whenever now I move on to my foundation. I use the Rebel and Nearly Naked foundation in the color 110 Ivory. And I just apply this with my fingers. Alright. And then I just put this on like this all over my face. And then I rub it in with my fingers just because I think that that's what gives me the most smooth and accurate application
you see just by doing that it really blends in and rubs in very evenly and I um, really really like this foundation it's just a really nice coverage and then I always um, after I put on my foundation you can see that my fingers are covered with it so I always just take a hand sanitizer today I'm just using the Seattle and Cotton and I use a hand sanitizer a couple different times while I'm doing my makeup just to remove the makeup off my fingers and don't transport it to somewhere where it doesn't need to be. Okay. And then you really want to make sure that it's blended in like where your hairline is because sometimes you can see the separation where um, the beginning of your hairline starts. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to setting powder. I just use the e.l.f. press powder with the e.l.f. complexion brush. And I just use this to set my, um, to set my foundation just so it doesn't wear off. And then I sometimes put it over my eyelids. And if anyone's wondering, I was in the color porcelain for the pressed powder. Okay, so next I take my small stipple brush again and my pressed powder again and I just dab it in here like this. And I set my under eye liquid concealer with the powder. And this also does make me look very awake. Sometimes if I'm just like running to like gymnastics or to the grocery store or to Walmart or Target or anywhere with my mom, I usually just put on my face, but I don't really do eyes just because early morning and eyes don't really mix. And now I'm taking my e.l.f. angled blush brush and my e.l.f. peachy keen blush. I really like this blush because it's a really like, um translucent color. I always smile whenever I put it on just because it helps me get it more on the apples of my cheeks better. Okay, and now you do not want to put any more on just because I made the mistake of that before and it looks awful. Okay, so once you're done with that, I just take my powder brush again and just run it all over my face. And I know I'm making some silly faces on this video. It's just that, like, um, if you put on makeup every morning, you know why. I bet you make some pretty funny faces like this, too. Okay. So that's the blush. I really like this blush. And next I move on to my eyes. Um, sometimes I really don't feel like putting on eyeshadow. But I'll just put on a little bit today. Today I'm just going to be using the Clinique Lid Smoothie in the color Bit O Honey. And you just squeeze it out of the tube like a lip gloss onto your finger. And then I just apply this to my eyelid. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry guys if this is a boring video. It's just a really nice base. It's um like my skin tone, but it's just a little bit more sheer in um person. It actually looks a little bit more sheer than it does on camera. But I think that it just brings out my natural eye color. And then I'm just taking my Urban Decay Roller Girl palette and putting a very little bit of verve on my lid. And I'm using the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush for that. So that is all I put on my eyelid. And then I just like to blend it all over my lid, so I just basically do this motion. Okay. 
because I feel it just blends it a lot better. And then we're almost done. Then I take my eyelash curler and I curl my lashes. And already my eyelashes are really, really long, so it looks like I'm wearing mascara when I'm really not. So I just use um, the Clinique High Impact Mascara, and this was $18 at Clinique Counter. And this is just what the wand looks like. It looks really short and like blah, but it really does make your eyelashes look nice. So there's that one eye done. I feel as though there's like a big clump. Okay, no, that's good. Oh, yeah, you see that right there? Mm hmm. That happens a lot to me. Just give me one second and I'll fix it. That's because I just did that mascara with my right hand and I'm left handed. So that's why I did that. I think I want to go at it with a makeup removing wipe instead. Okay, so that looks good, just like that. So I'm almost done. Now it's time for lips. I'm just taking my baby lips in Yummy Plummy and applying this to my lips. And then I'm taking a very little bit of my Wet Slicks Fruit Spritz. This is almost gone, so it's really hard to push up. And I just like the light sheer um, effect that it gives. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was my um, everyday makeup tutorial. And then at the end of the day, whenever you're ready to take your makeup off, don't forget to use makeup removing wipes and um, a good face wash toner and moisturizer. So I hope you guys all have a lovely day and um, subscribe and like and comment down below your thoughts of this video. Mwah. Bye!